Hi, this is Brandon Smiley from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the seated leg curl and specifically the machine version. Um, there's a variety of different machines that you can find to perform seated leg curls. Some of them are selectorized, which means they've got the little pin attachment. You just put the pin and the weight that you want and then you're pretty much good to go in terms of loading weight. Uh, this is basically a plate loaded version uh, made by Hammer Strength. Um, this is personally one of my favorite versions of seated leg curls. Uh, and the weight comes over here, so um, there's a little attachment over there for the Olympic sized plates. You just put the plates over here and add it up to you ever get to whatever uh, weight that you wanted. Um, one of the main things on the seated leg curl is to make sure that your axis of rotation is set at the knee joint. So the reason I really like the hammer one is that you can see where the axis of rotation is um, down here. This is where our knee joint needs to go so that everything is working, operating at the most efficient and it's not going to bother your knees. If you're too far back, um, you're going to have a pretty hard lever arm. If you're too far forward, um, it's probably going to be easier than it should be. So just make sure that that's lined up. And with this particular machine and most machines in general, usually the back is what moves. Um, sometimes you'll find the seat moves, but in most cases not the back moves. And this one's super easy. Uh, it just uses basic physics to lock in. There's not actually anything you have to unplug, um, but for the most part, very simple. You just move it to where you want. And there's some little lines down here to give you an idea of kind of where you're at if you know you're always on the same uh, setting if you use the same machine relatively frequently. So. Um, I know that I'm all the way up on this. I just put it all the way forward. There's also a seat belt. I'll tell you, I've never used a seat belt before, um, but in case if you want to practice safety, that's there. Um, so to demo this, we get in, sit here. Like I said, I want this to be about where my knee is at. So when I'm sitting back in the machine, I bring my leg up, my knee is about right there with the axis of rotation. Um, and then this handle's nice because when it comes to get in this one, you can actually push it forward to get your feet in and then you're good to go. Um, other ones you kind of kind of awkwardly got to get in, but with the hammer one, it's really nice. Um, and it's also good if you want to be able to do some kind of uh, drop sets or things like that. You can actually give yourself some assistance uh, to achieve some extra reps or do some overloads with some eccentrics, things like that. Um, and it's also nice when you really want to strip weight and you got a partner over there. Uh, that is the pitfall of this one though, is if you want to strip your own weight, select your eyes, it's easy just to flick pins. This one you're gonna have to get off, take the weights off. Um, but for the most part, it's not that big of a problem. But anyways, once you're in here, make sure that this part is down below your ankles. And for this particular machine, this one stops me on my shin. Um, other ones will come up here across your, your femur or your quadriceps. Um, and they'll stop here and then that's how it keeps you locked in. Um, this one is right here though on the shins, which is a little bit different. But otherwise, we just keep our chest tall, make sure we got our back pushed against the back the whole time. And then we're gonna take our heels, we're gonna pull our heels towards our butt and then all the way back. So the only pitfall to this one is after you get all the way here, you can kind of feel that it loses a little bit of that physics because as you can see, that comes up. There's not really a whole lot of uh, weight there, but right there is when the weight kicks back in. So you'll find a little bit of dead spot if you get it all the way like that. Um, but chances are, if you got a pretty heavy load on there, you're not gonna get that contracted. But then you're just gonna control it the entire time. Make sure the leg gets completely straight before you recontract. And it's that simple. Um, the other thing I'll say I like about this one, it's very easy to perform a single leg. So you can drop your single leg down and perform one leg and then you can perform the other. It's much easier than on some other machines where you have to have one leg hanging out like this. Um, but that is the seated leg curl machine. Very easy. Um, when we program this, usually we're doing three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps. It's one of our accessory exercises, so we're not like going super crazy heavy on it. Um, for some people that are usually trying to gain a little bit of weight or powerlifters that I work with, um, sometimes I'll get them in some eights and tens, but usually you're not gonna see this performed super heavy. Um, this is usually just some fluff work at the end of your training program um, to kind of keep some blood flow in the hamstrings and keep the knees good and happy and healthy. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.